السلام عليكم ومرحبا بكم في فيديو جديد هذا الفيديو هذا غادي يكون عنده علاقه بجدر ديال جميع المشاكل اللي كيعيشوها جميع المجتمعات ديال العالم في هذا الوقت هذا اللي هو الحركه النسويه هذا الفيديو غادي يكون عباره عن واحد لا رياكسيون آه غادي نشوفوا الافكار اللي كيناقش محمد حجاب وشنو شنو كيقول وغادي نعطيكم الراي ديالي عليها والحلقه الجايه ان شاء الله غادي تكون حلقه مفصله على هذه الحركه هذه فوقاش بدات شنو هي شنو الاهداف ديالها الى اخره باش نعرفوا مزيان حنا الواقع اللي كنعيشوا دابا شنو لوريجين ديالو نبداو الفيديو على بركه الله ام دو نو لو ميسي سوفيا I was recently doing reading some like uh, feminist books, <laughs> <laughs> and there's some really big ones like you know this um, the Simone de Beauvoir wrote a book called The Second Sex, a massive book, and um, and she's an existentialist, so she goes into detail and she offers like philosophical um, discussions and stuff like that. On now, why am I bringing this up? Because nowadays, I think. Uh, the feminist movement is quite a powerful movement, especially after the 1960s, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, and um, there have been many books that have come out from the 1960s and all those kind of things uh, that have shaped, I would say, the legal, the social, and the economic environment in an incredible way, yeah? One of the byproducts of the feminist movement is questioning of certain uh, cultural aspects of other traditions. So. Let's not forget that feminism was sprouted from like a Western context. Really, هنا كي قصد زعما على هاد الأشكال اللباس الموضة اللي ولينا كنشوفو دابا. American context, if you really think about it, yeah. So combining that with like equality and notions of equality, some people will ask, why is it the case that you know women have to wear headscarf? Why is it, why is it the case that women have to wear certain clothing? Uh, these kinds of things, and how is that? Why is that conducive? Isn't that kind of like oppression or these kinds of things? Yeah. So my, I really thought about this, and I was thinking about it over and over again, yeah? and I was thinking about it in a different way. And I'll tell you how I sort of thought about it. Yeah. Feminism, as a uh, as an ideology, it, it kind of one of the undercurrents of it, or one of the presumptions of it, one of the assumptions is that. Women are being oppressed. There's a patriarchal society. Uh, these kinds of notions, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a patriarchal society, etc. If you look at the sociological statistics, yeah, on uh, the kinds of what I would call oppression that's going on from male to female, or how the patriarchy is being uh, exacerbated or strengthened, yeah, you could you, you could sort of tear it in different kinds of strands. You can say there's an economic, there's an economic layer, there is a political layer, there's a d domestic layer, there's a social layer. One thing that's often overlooked, not always, but it's often overlooked, is sexual objectification and commodification, yeah? Uh, really and truly, if you look at the contents of most male magazines, you'll find that the majority of the information that is presented in those magazines are, is basically of the images of women and stuff like that. I, women are being used, commodified, objectified uh, to promote products, to do this, to do that. And this, in essence, I thought to myself, really, this does nothing but strengthen the patriarchy. Think about it. Yeah? From a feministic perspective, I put myself into the feminist shoes for a second. Yeah? I said, this does nothing but strengthen the patriarchy that feminists, ironically, I'll tell you why it's an irony, want to dispel. Yeah. So you think about prescriptions, like what would remedy the situation? If you know that you can't trust men, basically, because men are by nature going to want to objectify women, commodify them, they've always done that, you know, a full time, it's historical. If you know you can't trust them, and you know that men will definitely use female adornment to, you know, to uh, enhance their economic experience or their domestic experience or political experience. Doesn't it make sense to protest against... Huh? I'm going to sound like a real feminist now for a second. Doesn't it make sense to revolutionary, 
You know, we can, we can become revolutionaries today and protest against male domination by covering up. Because if you think about it, that's a protest. You're saying no more. I don't want to be looked at in that way. It really is a protest. It really is a stand against. ما كنظنش ان هذا الشيء بصح ما كنتفقش معاه وغادي نقول لكم علاش ما كنتفقش معاه حيتاش هذا البلان هذا اللي كيدوي عليه هو كيخلي الرجال او الدراري يوليو ضعاف حيتاش هما كيشدونا من نقطه الضعف ديالنا اللي هي هذا البلان هذا اللي كيهضر عليه ان دابا كنشوفوا فين ما مشيتي كنشوفوا العراف فين ما مشينا كنشوفوا ان المراه او البنت ملي كتلبس بواحد الشكل معين راكم عارفيني علاش كنهضر فهي كتحس بواحد ما عرفتش كيفاش نشرح لكم ولكن تتحس بواحد الكبرياء عندها لداخل تتحس براسها راه واعره بزاف وسيوكتو سيوكتو ملي كيعطيها هذاك الدري او لا كيعطيها هذاك الراجل لا طونسيون تقدر دير واحد لا رياكسيون اه ما 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 عندي ما ندير بيك ما محتاجش ديك لا طونسيون ديالك انا هادشي تنديرو لراسي كنلبسو لراسي باغا نشوف راسي زوينه باغا نحس براسي زوينه ولكن لا هادشي ماشي بصح بالعكس تقدر تكون ما باغاش لا طونسيون او ما باغاش الانتباه ديال داك السيد ولكن هي باغا لا طونسيون وديك لا طونسيون كتخليها تحس ديك الانتباه كيخليها تحس انها شي حاجه في شكل انها واعره انها واعره بزاف وهنا الرجال والدراري كيوليو ضعاف امام نقطه الضعف ديالهم الو هما هادشي علاش كيلعبوا يعني الحل الوحيد شنو خصنا باش نربيهم هو خصنا ما نشوفوش داكشي وخصنا نمتنعوا عليه يعني مثلا واخا هي غاده لابسه بداك الشكل معين انا كدري كراجل انا خصني نكون قوى منها وانني ما نعطيهاش داك الانتباه اللي كتقلب عليه وانني نشوف بجهه اخرى كما كيعلمنا الاسلام الغض ديال البصر هو الحل يعني باش تبدل هذا الشيء كامل ما غنساينوش انهم هما يتبدلوا حتى هما بل... ما غاديش نقول ضعاف ولكن واحد الكائنات اللي كتبع الاحاسيس ديالها يعني هي الا كانت كتحس مزيان في داكشي اللي كدير فراغ غتبقى كديرو في حين اننا حنا لا ما خصناش نتبعوا الاحاسيس ديالنا ولكن خصنا نتبعوا العقل ديالنا واللوجيك ديالنا داكشي علاش واخا نشوفوا هكاك ما نتبعوش من ما نحلوش عيننا ما نحملوهمش هما المسؤوليه ولكن نتحملوا مسؤوليه راسنا وما نشوفوش وما نعطيهمش الانتباه ملي حنا ما غاديش نبقاو نعطيهم الانتباه هما غادي يولوا يرجعوا يلبسوا الحجاب وغادي يسترو رسوم وما غاديش اي يبقاو دارين هكاك والاخلاقيات ديال المجتمعات غادي تصلح وغادي تولي مزيان يعني هنا المسؤوليه الكبيره عند من والقوه عند من عندنا حنا القوه عند الرجال انهم يغضوا الابصار ديالهم وانهم ما يعطيوش البنات الانتباه اللي كيقلبوا عليه يعني بالنسبه لي انا هذا البلان هذا ديال هادشي اللي كنشوفوا في المجلات اللي كنشوفوا في الافلام بالعكس راه ماشي كي كيعطي القوه للرجال وكيزيد السطو ولا ديك السيطره ولا كاع داكشي اللي كيسميه ولكن بالعكس كيردهم ضعاف patriarchy exploitation oppression commodification objectification i believe the hijab is the absolute absolute most appropriate prescription for a feminist but why is it that you'll find that feminists, unfortunately, not all of them, I'm not going to generalize, tend to criticize it. Okay, fine. There are people that are forced to put it on. علاش الفيمينيست والنسوين كي كريتيزيو الحجاب وما ما كيبغيوش حيتاش الا داروا البنات الحجاب الرجال غتولي عندهم ديك القوه ديالهم وما غيبقاوش يعني يعني شنو هي النقطه الضعف ديال الرجال هي ان البنت تعرى. هذه هي نقطة الضعف ديال أي دري وديال أي راجل، حيت أول حاجة كيمشي فيها تيمشي لعقلو، المهم راكم عارفيني علاش كنهضر، داكشي علاش أنهم إلا هما لبسوا الحجاب وإلا هما شدوا الطرق مزيان، ما غاديش يبقاو يلعبوا على هذه النقطة الضعف الكبيرة اللي عند الراجل، والراجل غادي يرجع قوي كما كان من قبل. There are people that are okay fine. However, think of it from my angle here, yeah? If the patriarchy is being exacerbated as a result, huh, as a result of male commodification, objectification. هادشي ما كيعنيش ان زعما هادشي اللي كنقول هادشي ما كيعنيش ان في هاد الوقت هادي 
فرا البنات او لا لي فام ما كيتستعملوش كبضاعه للتسويق للمنتوجات يعني ما عندهمش واحد الهدف اقتصادي ما عندهمش المهم هادشي ما كيعنيش هادشي اللي قلت ولكن انا كنناقش من واحد الناحيه اخرى من واحد الناحيه اخلاقيه من واحد الناحيه اللي زعما الحل الوحيد اللي غادي يخلي بالمجتمع ديالنا يزيد القدام ويولي احسن ويخلي الاسره ديالنا تولي احسن اسره You know the pornography industry. Yes, I'm going to go into a little bit of a taboo topic here. The pornography industry is a trillion dollar industry. And if you look at what these voila, how we can talk about the industry or the industry of the pornography. So this is one of the most important reasons why people in this time are weak and are struggling. And they are not sure why they are doing this. Social scientists. Say in regards to it, the majority of it depicts women in a subservient, subordinated role, on her knees, on groveling, things like that. She is the literally a slave to the man, right? Which is why this is very, very taboo. And I'm sorry if this sounds explicit. Even heterosexual women, according to BuzzFeed, they did a, a what do you call it, a, a data statistic on this using Google Analytics. A according to BuzzFeed and others. Now the majority of even heterosexual women are watching homosexual pornography. Why? Because they want to keep away from this image of a man, you know, destroying and you know putting down the woman and using her. So, doesn't it make sense to just completely take away sense of this thing? If women are being, and by the way, they are, they are actually, and this sounds completely oh, what censor? Oh, you sound like the Soviet Union. You sound. Okay, wait, hold on. Can't, <laughs> no, seriously, think about this for a second, yeah. The uh, United States of America in Congress, they actually ran a report which concluded that uh, pornography increases domestic violence. And this was, I think, 1998. It was sometimes they run reports. I can't remember the name of the report. But they ran the report and said it increases domestic violence and rape. Why? Because it's, it's, that, uh, it's normalizing the process of, it's giving a male, uh, the, the male is giving that person Sort of like, I need this thing, or a feeling of entitlement, right? Because it's so normalized now. I ought to do what this man is doing. So it can actually increase domestic violence, rape, and all these kinds of things, according to the study. Now, having said that, I personally believe, if you really think about it, the feminism or the feminist movement now has to take a new stance. A new revolutionary Islamic stance. You have to adopt from the Islamic position. Think about it for a second. I know it sounds ridiculous. Maybe just it might not mesh in your mind because it just sounds a bit weird. But think about it. If you cover your body, a man cannot look at you. You're mm -hmm. stopping him. You're privatizing your adornment. Mm -hmm. You're not giving him that entitlement. You're stopping patriarchy and exploitation. And domestic violence, or you're going to reduce that statistic and rape. Ah, and you can make the men feel stronger, feel stronger, more than they are. According to those studies, so I mean, if the sociological statistics are quite profound in this situation, and they're on our side, the hijab. And by the way, you know, the man is not the same as the woman. It's absolutely patently clear. Men are not objectified in the same way as women are objectified. They're just not, and that re for that reason, the hijab is 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 exaggerated. You could say, comparative to the man for the woman, it makes perfect sense because they need more, they need more, repelling power. The hijab is a power. It's actually is saying no to people, taking advantage of others, and therefore, I actually don't see the problem with uh, you know this issue. I think s some non-Muslims see it as. Weakness for Muslim women. I think this is incredible strength for Muslim women. Absolutely incredible. They don't need to. They don't need to go out there and succumb to societal expectations and, and become an object of male, uh, you know, imagination. And believe me, if that woman who's walking in the streets and let's say she's uncovered in a certain way, if she knew what that man was thinking, she'd think to herself, "This man." How dare he think such a thing? You know, I mean, I wouldn't even let him do what he thinks he doesn't want to do with me. If that makes sense. 
Anyways, I hope that answers uh, the question a little bit. I'd shut up. Get ready, we got shit. I'm off. Anyways, على خوتي كان هذا هو الفيديو ديال اليوم خليو لي الراي ديالكم في كومونتير اي تابونا لك شي مازال ما تابونيتيش خلي جيم للفيديو ان شاء الله نتلاقاو في الحلقه الجايه على نهضروا على هذا الموضوع هذا النيت الاصل ديالو وشنو التاثير ديالو على حياتنا تهلا